For more stock news updates, remember to press the like button and subscribe. With that being said, let's get straight into the video. Palantir Technologies is poised to release its quarter three earnings on the 4th of November, aiming to continue the strong growth trajectory that has defined its year thus far. This announcement is highly anticipated, as Palantir seeks to capitalize on the sustained momentum within the artificial intelligence sector. However, despite a robust demand backdrop, there are some concerns about Palantir's capacity to maintain its impressive rally. The company's heavy reliance on frequent and favorable guidance updates has been instrumental in signaling demand for its software. However, this reliance could pose a significant challenge if future updates do not meet or exceed market expectations. With this in mind, taking a neutral position on Palantir ahead of its quarter three report may be a prudent approach. Even though Palantir's growth in artificial intelligence remains in its early stages, with the potential for its fundamentals to eventually justify the current share price, those who purchased shares at recent valuation levels ahead of of the quarter three report may have taken on some level of optimism that could be tested. Before examining my concerns regarding Palantir's capacity to sustain its bullish trajectory, it's essential to highlight the drivers behind its impressive performance, which has led to a triple digit increase in market value over the past 12 months. In the first and second quarters of this year, Palantir reported revenue growth of over 20% and nearly 27% respectively. The steady growth resulted in a gross profit margin of 81% outperforming NVIDIA, which saw a 75% gross profit margin. Palantir's commercial sector, especially its artificial intelligence-powered foundry and AIP platforms, has been a major growth catalyst. With these platforms expanding by 55% year over year in the second quarter, compared to a 24% growth in government contracts. Chief Executive Officer Alex Karp commented on what he called an unrelenting demand for production-ready artificial intelligence systems, underscoring Palantir's unique ability to respond to this demand in ways that set it apart from other providers in the field. The company's momentum has led it to consistently revise its yearly guidance upward in recent quarters, driven primarily by the robust performance in its commercial revenue segment. Yearly growth rate projections increased from 45% in the first quarter to 47% in the second quarter. In addition, Palantir raised its total revenue expectations, initially projecting a range between $2,677,000,000 and $2,689,000,000 in the first quarter. This range was further increased to between $2,742,000,000 and $2,750,000,000 in the second quarter. Palantir also revised its income from operations forecast, adjusting it upward from a range of $868,000,000 to $880,000,000 to a range of $966,000,000 to $974,000,000. Although it's difficult to dispute Palantir's strong first half performance, I believe that simply reaching the top end of these estimates may not be enough to sustain its bullish momentum. With elevated expectations for quarter three results, while I do expect Palantir to exceed these estimates, I believe an upward revision of its full-year guidance will be essential to maintaining the stock's current momentum. For the third quarter, Palantir issued revenue guidance between $697 million and $701 million, with Wall Street analysts largely favoring the higher end of this range. All 16 analysts covering the stock have recently adjusted their estimates upward, setting a consensus forecast at $703.4 million. This would represent a year-over-year -year growth rate of approximately 26%. Furthermore, Palantir's adjusted net income guidance for the quarter is between $233 million and $237 million, suggesting a possible annual increase of 46% at the upper limit. Wall Street analysts have set an earnings per share consensus at $0.09, cents, reflecting an anticipated annual growth of 29.8%. Given Palantir's growth story, which is centered around substantial demand for artificial intelligence systems, there is a prevailing belief that the company will continue updating its yearly guidance to reflect its growth potential accurately. In my view, the success of this quarter's results will largely depend on any updates to that full-year guidance, as current projections may fall short of justifying Palantir's current high valuations, a topic that warrants further exploration. One key reason for my cautious outlook regarding Palantir's ability to sustain bullish momentum after the quarter three report is the exceptionally high valuation multiples that the company currently commands. As of now, Palantir is valued at metrics such as 35 times its projected projected forward sales, 120 times its projected forward earnings, and 135 times projected cash flows. Palantir's valuation is further stretched by growth estimates that do not seem sufficient to justify such high multiples. For instance, Palantir's revenue is projected to grow at a forward rate of just over 20%, which is significantly higher than the sector median of 6%. Revenue for 2025 is expected to grow at around 21%, with growth forecasts remaining at approximately 20% through 2000. 
2026, earnings per share growth is projected at 42.3% for 2024 with an expected earnings per share of 36 cents, while 2025 earnings per share growth is forecasted at 21.4%, reaching 43 cents. By 2026, earnings per share could reach 52 cents, indicating growth rates of 42%, 21%, and 19% over the three-year span. A key bullish factor for Palantir's valuation is its improved free cash flow. This measure has increased significantly, rising from a negative $308.9 million in 2020 to an anticipated range of $800 million to $1 billion based on the company's own projections. Chief Executive Officer Alex Karp recently sold approximately 8.7 million shares of Palantir, valued at more than $300 million, as part of a trading plan. Additionally, co-founder Peter Thiel set a trading plan to sell shares worth $28.5 million, collectively totaling close to $1 billion. While there are multiple reasons for insider selling, it is challenging to believe that executives would sell substantial shares if they were highly optimistic about continued rapid stock growth in the near term. Using the TipRank's Insider Transactions tool, we observe that Palantir insiders are selling more shares than they are acquiring. On TipRank's, analysts rate Palantir stock as a hold, with 6 out of 16 analysts offering neutral recommendations, 6 issuing bearish ratings, and only 4 expressing a bullish outlook. The average price target for Palantir stock is $27.67, implying a downside potential of over 36%. In light of this, I assign a hold rating to Palantir ahead of its quarter 3 earnings announcement. While Palantir has made significant strides this year, I am concerned that its current high valuation multiples and impressive triple-digit growth could create challenges in the upcoming quarter, potentially affecting its bullish trajectory. Given the considerable excitement surrounding Palantir, simply meeting high-end estimates will likely fall short. For the company to convincingly illustrate how its growth story substantiates its lofty earnings and cash flow multiples, an upward revision to its guidance will be essential. In the end, Palantir Technologies is gearing up for its quarter three earnings announcement on the 4th of November. While recent growth in its commercial sector, particularly in artificial intelligence powered platforms like Foundry and AIP, has driven substantial gains, there are concerns about the sustainability of Palantir's high valuation. Key drivers behind its significant market value increase include robust quarter one, and quarter two revenue and profit growth, as well as management's continual upward revisions of full year projections. However, the company's high valuation multiples combined with recent insider sales suggest caution ahead of the earnings report. Analysts are mixed, with a consensus hold rating on the stock. Given that Palantir may need to raise its full year guidance to maintain its bullish momentum, a cautious stance could be wise. For more stock news updates, remember to press the like button and subscribe. With that being said, I will see you in the next video.